hello ladies and gentlemen boys and girls welcome to another video in today's video we're going to be going over how to make eyelashes in blender all right real sexy real good looking eyelashes all right now i have simply duplicated uh, a part of the face mesh which is somewhere in in between the eyes and i just duplicated that and separated that by hitting p and making a new mesh all right now if i isolate that you can see it and i did some weight painting and added some added some weights basically but that part is technically up to you it is almost irrelevant but you can do that if you wish now don't worry about the this the, the particle system i have already because i would delete that and before we begin so let's basically now let's talk about uh how the eyelashes behave, how they work, how they flow, and basically most things about them that we need to know before creating them. All right, now this is the direction where the top, how the top one goes. All right, now this, now this is completely stylized because uh, technically they should not all go in one direction, and technically they should not be uniform, but in my opinion, in a stylized character, uh, somewhat uniformity and sim symmetry looks good. All right. So it's completely up to you. And with this tutorial, you should be able to make any way, either one, any which way, stylized or realistic. But let's keep going. All right. Now, this red now signifies uh, the parts of greater density. All right. Now the next one the green signifies uh the part with lesser density all right now if you look at my reference you can see what i'm talking about high density less density not minding the fact that the reference is of course stylized and the less the uh, lighter green signifies somewhere of lesser density but lesser length as well and the density as well as the length uh, this as well signifies it. And now the reference I'm using is by NASA. I cannot pronounce his last name. Uh, so sorry. But if you already know him, I just feel like stating it that this is his work. That I'm using as reference. So just for the record. Now I'm going to add a shrink wrap modifier to the mesh I created for the eyelash. I'm just going to move this out until I feel it's in the right position. And you can just fit it to what you wish. And make sure it's okay for you. All right, now something else I enjoy doing, I say I enjoy, I like doing is selecting the outer part of the mesh and just moving it up or down uh, whichever part it is simply because the eye lashes tend to the particles tend to stop at some point i have no idea why but i know that if i move the edges up they can go further up all right so now i'm going to i just added the particles and i'm just changing the strand steps in the viewport and in the uh, render view and in render so that I can get I'm keeping those two the same so I can know exactly what it will look like in the render this might slow down performance but it works fine it works fine for me I can see the effect of the particle system I, of the weight paint I did but it's completely up to you I just turned the number of particles down to zero and we're going to manually add the particles I can just go ahead and add the particles however you wish, knowing fully well that uh, that the how do I say the outer corner has more density, so you keep that in mind, and the inner corner has less density. So I will speed this up by a lot. So just try to understand this part is just going to be a waste of time if I continue showing it. Mm -hmm. 
So now we can comb out the eyelashes so we get an idea of uh, their individual lengths. And with the cut tool, I just try to trim some down. And now with the length or grow and shrink tool, I grow and shrink some of the eyelashes. Now the only reason I used the cut at that point was because uh, it just is more abrupt and strong but the shrink I have to go over and over but most often than not you should use the shrink to avoid some errors. Alright now I selected the tips by going into the select options and I just move them up with basic transforms. Now I'm just trying to get the direction of the ones on the inner side of the eye. So you can play around with this. And that looks fine. Now I'm going to select the middle vertices. And if you can't select the vertices, you have to look at the top left corner and where we have uh, three slots and you can just select uh, the second one right there. Now I'm doing some basic editing, adding particles where they are needed. just increasing the length because I love long lashes and since my character is wearing makeup uh, her eyelashes should be long I'm just bringing some together to have some sort of manual uh, what's it called clumping manual clumping but this is completely up to you if you wish. And one thing I did forget to state at the beginning of the video is that uh, make sure you apply your transforms so your scale should be uh, applied. Now go ahead and add children particles with the simple option. And we can just turn the clumping up to one. You can see our manual clumping has some issues. And at first I did give up on the idea, but I turned back and tried some other techniques. And if you move them close to get close enough, you can have something that actually looks good. So this is completely based on my preference. Since my character is wearing makeup, so she has uh, fake eyelashes, but you can just leave it at default and add some, some randomness like we'll do as we move forward. Right now I'm just going to add clumping with the clump curve because uh, the default clump, as nice as it is, it doesn't quite do the job. So I have to add mine by hand.
now i'm just adjusting some of the basic particles so if you are enjoying this video so far or if you have learned something new do have to hit that subscribe button drop a like and tell me in the comment sections what you think of the video but we still have a little more to go so let's keep going right now we have to look at it in uh render view or material preview mode so we get an idea of what it looks like I think this looks somewhat all right. I just changed the hair type to strip uh, so we can get the hair shape down. Now the hair shape should vary based on the size of your scene, but in my case, this are my values. Now I'm going about adding the randomness that I spoke of earlier. The randomness that I spoke of earlier, which I can play with the threshold to get the parts that get it and the parts that don't. I want a little bit of randomness, but not a lot. And that should be it. That is basically it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, do well to hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications so you get notified every time I release a new video. And you can go ahead and check out other videos on my channel. This has been fun, guys. And until next time, stay safe.